we go with the nitrogen cycle discussion, guys. So the nitrogen cycle might be a little bit new to you guys, and that's perfectly okay. My word of advice, though, is if the nitrogen cycle is kind of confusing for you, take your time with this video. Pause it, rewind, watch it as many times as you need to. Uh, that way you'll have uh, a good understanding of the nitrogen cycle. It's going to be really important not only for quizzes and tests, but also when we go to the river that you guys understand what's going on in the nitrogen cycle. So you guys should have your nitrogen cycle Cornell notes out ready to go. The essential questions are at the very top for you guys. I'm just going to talk about them really quick. You guys should have them in the back of your mind as we go through the notes. First thing you're going to have to do is explain why the nitrogen cycle or the nitrogen is important to begin with. Why do we care so much about nitrogen? The second part is being able to trace the movement of nitrogen through the nitrogen cycle. And that's just the same as saying trace a water particle or water droplets through the water cycle. You're going to need to know uh, where the nitrogen comes from, the sources, the processes and organisms that convert nitrogen to one form to another. A couple different forms that you guys are going to have to kind of keep straight. The spheres involved in the nitrogen cycle and the form used by plants. That's going to be really important for you as well. And that's kind of what I'm going to cover in this part of the video. Uh, the second half of the video is going to be more about essential question number three, explain how humans impact the nitrogen cycle um, and how they both impact human health and the environment. We talked about the nitrogen cycle, or we talked about the water cycle and the how humans can impact the water cycle. We're going to be doing the same thing with the nitrogen cycle. So let's get into this. When you're taking your notes, you should see that there are a bunch of blanks. Anything that is in this uh, dark, bold, black, that is what you're filling in on those blanks. So getting into the importance of nitrogen, why do we care so much? Well, it's because of these guys right here. Plants need nitrogen. It's an essential plant nutrient along with things like phosphorus and potassium. Nitrogen is super duper important food for plants. Without the nitrogen, plants would not be able to survive. So it's important that there's a, a good amount of nitrogen in the soil. All right, if there's too much or too little of that nitrogen, the plants aren't going to grow very well. Second bullet point, all living things need nitrogen uh, for things like amino acids. Okay, amino acids are the building blocks for proteins, so muscles. All right, And then also nucleic acid. Nucleic acids are things like DNA and RNA. So automatically you should see we would not be here without nitrogen. Okay, Our bodies need that nitrogen in our cells. In the basic building blocks of our bodies, nitrogen is a huge uh, factor, huge component of our cells. Also, um, nitrogen is also a very good indicator of water quality, all right? And that gets us into the river, right? Now, the river, we're going to be able to take a look at how much nitrogen is in the water. Um, there's kind of a sweet spot where if, you're, if you have too much of that nitrogen, then uh, certain animals and fish and plants won't survive. If you have too little of that nitrogen, again, um, there's... There's not enough there for plants and fish and, and things to live in that river. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at at the river. Also, uh, we can put excess nitrogen into the air, and that's going to impact our health right here. So there's a lot of different reasons why we care so much about nitrogen. One, we need them in order to survive. And then two, if we put, them, if we put too much nitrogen in certain areas or certain spheres, then we have problems... Uh, in our health. Now the water cycle, the, that diagram that you've seen for the water cycle, you've seen that tons and tons of times. Now the nitrogen cycle diagram is a little bit more confusing. As you can see, arrows going everywhere. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new processes that you guys are going to need to remember with really big names. Um, there's a, a couple different forms of nitrogen. You've got N2, which is in the atmosphere. Uh, that's just nitrogen gas. Then you have uh, NH3 or sometimes NH4, that's ammonia or ammonium. That's, if you know anything, ammonia is not good, it's toxic. And then you have NO3, which is nitrate, and that's what we need. All right. I'll get to a diagram in another video. I just wanted to, you guys to kind of see that this is a pretty complicated um, 
cycle. So like I, like I said, take your time with this. Study it as much as you can. Now forms of nitrogen. It's important that you guys know that nitrogen is in all four spheres. And we're going to start with the atmosphere because of this number right here. 78% of our atmosphere is that N2 nitrogen gas. Uh, the other 21% is O2, oxygen that we're breathing in, right? That leaves 1% for everything else. 99% of our atmosphere is either nitrogen or oxygen, all right? So automatically you should see, okay, nitrogen really important for our atmosphere. Um, nitrogen does exist in a couple different forms, like I said, uh, right here, N2, NH3, NO3, all that kind of stuff. We can break it down into either one, organic, or two, inorganic. Organic, all that means is that it's part of living organisms or a living system. Okay, so there you go. That is the biosphere. So we've hit the atmosphere. We've got our biosphere. Um, we talked about this already. Amino acids, proteins, DNA, RNA, all of that contains nitrogen. So you can see how important nitrogen is to the biosphere, that organic nitrogen, right? This inorganic nitrogen comes in the other two spheres, okay? So here's sphere number three, sphere number four. Uh, the geosphere, there's a lot of uh, nitrogen in the soil. Also, you can find nitrogen uh, in some rocks and minerals. Um, also in the hydrosphere. So you got that nitrate, nitrite, and then ammonia, or the ammonium ion. All right, those are all the different forms, the inorganic forms in the geosphere and the hydrosphere. All right, so every single sphere has nitrogen, um, and you can automatically see how important nitrogen is to the biosphere. Question then becomes, how in the world do we get this 78% of nitrogen in the atmosphere into plants and then into you and me, into animals, right? Um, it's not as simple as this guy right here. We can't just breathe nitrogen in and our body can use it right away. We have to, we have to meet a brand new friend and we'll talk about this friend in just a second. So plants cannot use N2, all right? They just can't. That, that's that 78% in the atmosphere. Okay, that's, that's a gas. Plants can't use that. They, they can't take that gas in through their leaves and then just use that nitrogen to make their proteins and all that kind of stuff. It just doesn't happen. Uh, so what must happen in order for that to occur is that nitrogen has to be fixed. And nitrogen fixation, you'll hear it, all it means is changed into a usable form. Okay, so all we're doing is we're taking this N2 and turning it into usable form and here they are this is your new best friend when it comes to the nitrogen cycle bacteria bacteria there's a whole bunch of different kinds of bacteria in the nitrogen cycle they all have their certain task to do uh, but bacteria is going to be your new best friend when it comes to the nitrogen cycle and what they're going to do is they're going to turn that N2 that nitrogen gas and they're going to turn that into ammonia NH4 NH3 and when they do so they fix it. Okay, that is that nitrogen fixation right there. Okay, this process, N2 to NH4, that's nitrogen fixation. Um, and like I said, there's a bunch of different kinds of bacteria that change the nitrogen from form to form. You can go from N2 to NH4, and then down here it's talking about taking ammonia and turning it into NO3. That, that's a completely different bacteria that does that. Okay. Key thing here, guys, is in order for plants to get uh, that nitrogen fixed, we have to have our best friend, bacteria, do that for us or for the plants. All right? Always, always remember that. It's that bacteria that, that does that. All right? Okay, so again, there's a couple other ways to fix nitrogen. Okay, and again, if we remember, fixation is just usable form, right? We're looking for a usable form of nitrogen. Lightning can do that sometimes. Okay, lightning can turn that N2 uh, gas into a usable form. This is the key one right here. This is our bacteria, our best friend, living in root nodules. Nodules are just these kind of little, little bumpy things on the um, roots of these plants. And they, they help each other out. The plant gives the bacteria a place to live, and then the bacteria, in, in a roundabout way, helps the plant get the nitrogen that it needs, okay? And they, uh, they help each other out. They're not hurting one another, all right? 
humans can manufacture, we can make uh, nitrogen when we're making fertilizers for lawns and things like that. We also produce or release, I should say, uh, nitrogen into the air uh, when we burn fossil fuels like gasoline in our car and things like that. And then there's these cool little dudes uh, called blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. Uh, they, they can also fix nitrogen in the hydrosphere, in water. All right. So a couple different ways for us to take nitrogen and turn it into a usable form. Now, in order for us to get our nitrogen, okay, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to eat the plants, right? That nitrogen is now stored up in the plants or in the grass. And what happens is when we eat uh, either plants or we eat other organisms, the nitrogen that's in those things then becomes part of us and we can use it to make proteins and DNA and all that good stuff. But eventually, um, all things are going to either produce waste or uh, they're going to eventually um, die. And when that happens, decomposers, again, bacteria, there it is, bacterial decomposition, uh, that bacteria can take or produce more ammonia, okay? So what it's going to do is it's going to take that nitrogen locked up in living things, put it back into the ground in the form of ammonia, NH3, and then bacteria will use that to turn it into stuff that other plants and animals can use, that NO3, that nitrate. Okay, so bacteria, again, you can see how important that bacteria is in turning nitrogen into all of the different forms for the different parts of the nitrogen cycle. Another step in the nitrogen cycle that we have to talk about is something called denitrification. So D usually means without or no nitrogen, okay? Or the process of taking something um, that has nitrogen and, and turning it into or changing it, all right? And this denitrific denitrification process again is caused or done by bacteria, but these guys are anaerobic bacteria anaerobic just means without oxygen. So these guys don't need oxygen to survive. And what they're going to do is they're, or they don't need to breathe oxygen. What they're going to do is they're going to convert this NO3. They're going to take the oxygen off and turn it back into N2, uh, which is a gas which releases it back into the atmosphere. Okay, so all of this happens in the soil and it releases um, that N N2 back into the atmosphere. All right. So this kind of completes our nitrogen cycle. So we start out with lots of nitrogen in the air. It goes into plants, well, it goes into the ground, then it can go into plants and then go into animals. Eventually, we need to replenish that nitrogen, and that's done again by bacteria, releasing that N2 into the atmosphere. All right? So that was just kind of the basics of the nitrogen cycle. I need you guys to... You know, watch that a few more times. Make sure you have a good understanding of it. Fill in your notes. All right. Um, and I'll see you guys for the next part of the nitrogen cycle video.